Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here in Tomball, Texas with my nephew and my brother, yeah, Zach and Mark, and we're at Tejas Barbecue. We're gonna give it a try here. They also sell chocolate here too. Pretty good stuff. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> really? Wow. We're going to McDonald's then. <laughs> Come on in. These guys are just rude as hell. What the hell's wrong with them? Barbecue. Ooh, look at all this chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate. Good, how you doing? Oh, hell no. Here for brisket. Maybe. Maybe. I'm here for the brisket. We got brisket. You got brisket that'll melt in your mouth and make you drool and all that other stuff? That's what I want. Oh, what do you got here? It says I uh, get a quarter pound. Do you have like plates or anything? Or what? How do you do this? Okay, well, I'll take a, a quarter pound of your brisket that's uh, moist and I like a lot of the black stuff on it. Uh, yeah, and what else should I get here? You're out of. Uh, carrots, carrots probably are top side, from our casserole, baking coleslaw, everything else is the best version of whatever it is. Best version of whatever yes, that is. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um. Cornbread casserole sounds pretty good. It's rice, cheese, chives, and eggs all mixed up in cornbread. That's cool. All right, I'll go for that. What are you doing there, bud? We're videoing. Oh, yeah? LoneStarBarbecueTrail.com. I like it. I like it. These guys came all the way from Fort Worth just to try this here. We all went to the party on a Friday. Yeah. So we're limited on things. Yeah. But well, still, I'm on, I'm, a bad decision. That's, a, that's a, what I judge everything on. Who's going to buy this up? Huh? Y'all not buying my, my, my meal? Zach? <laughs> okay, I'm paying for this. All right, now what was your name? Rex. What's your name? Raven. Raven. Wow, I never met a Raven. Well, nice to meet you, Rex. Nice to meet you. He'll be back all the time, but I promise. Well, I don't live here, so I've been traveling around the United States raising awareness and funds for diabetes in memory of my son for the last 15 months. Uh, that's, that's a mission, man. That's awesome. It is. I like that. Keep the card, go to the website, and show the heck out of it. Yeah, absolutely. Who's son? That's a good brother right there. He is a good brother. Yeah. He didn't get too much. I didn't. If you're going to pay for it, honey, I can ring y'all all up together. It's going to come on the same tray anyway. You pay, you pay for mine. Oh, okay. Thanks, Mark. You're welcome. Hello, honey. Hello. Good. Look at the brisket and the cornbread casserole. Oh. Oh, really? I'm here. House sauce is right here. Well, I hope it doesn't need any sauce. Yeah, yeah. there you go. The wine sauce. It's the brisket. Looks awesome. Oh, that's good. Is that the barbecue sauce? Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't need it. It's good. This is awesome. What's in the cornbread? She said, and I forgot. He said they'd give us a tour. Look at that. They got a pound of that stuff. Yeah, good stuff right there. Good stuff. We got Hercules beef ribs. Is that what you call them, Hercules? Oh, uh, I do, but yeah, they are. Everybody yeah. takes, yeah, you take pictures of them. It was well, somewhere and they called it uh, John beers. Wayne on a stick. There you go. That's good too. <laughs> That's our special Friday and Saturday. It's burnt burn ends and beef ribs. So they usually go pretty fast. Well, when I come back through here again, I'll have to try those. Yeah. No, Thursday we do them too, but we do it at uh, Pastrami. 
flavor. We grind the brisket. We do the chami brisket. Sure, we also do ribbons. That's the Thursday special. So we do the beef ribs as well. Awesome. Right. And your name? Enjoy. BJ. Rex right. Covington. Ray? Nice yeah, Rex. Rex? Yeah, that's what we call my sister, BJ. <laughs> Trying their cornbread casserole. It's different. You tried this? Not bad. It's different. I don't know. Is this two different kinds or the no, same thing? I thought it was. Thank you. Try the barbecue sauce. That tastes like you. It's too vinegary. I don't like the barbecue sauce. You don't? No, because it's too vinegary. But the brisket don't need it, so it don't matter. Yeah. So what do you think about the uh, brisket? Fantastic. You try it? Nice and moist. <laughs> I think that meant, yes, he likes it. <laughs> I'm going to eat the rest of this, and then I'll be back with you later. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, sir. How are you doing? How's that food? Awesome. Very good. I liked it a lot. Glad you enjoyed well, that. Good. Just the pits? That's one of them, Bob. Oh, we got a variety. Yeah. Oh, really? Size of the tour. Oh, yeah. yeah. You want to look at the pits? Yeah. Come on, guys. Yeah. I'll give you all a tour. Got to look at the pits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you found Austin. Camera, so Austin. you're Austin? I'm Austin. I'm Rex Covington. Austin Moore, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is my nephew. How you doing? I'm Zach. Zach. Austin Moore, nice to meet you. My brother Mark, somewhere around, hanging around. <laughs> Roaming around like a lost puppy dog. He usually is. <laughs> so this is actually, this is what we call the Black October. The Black October. So And the, the reason behind that? The reason behind that is if you've ever seen the movie Hunt for Red October. Yes. It obviously looks like a submarine when you're towing it down the street. Gotcha. So we don't, we don't, this is not portable. We kind of, it stays where it's at. So it's, the axles were cut out of it after they brought it in and dropped it off and then just recently we raised it up I think about another six or seven inches off the ground and uh, we found it on Craigslist ah yeah very cool so this one's going right now we've got beef ribs in there we've got burn ins and the upright being cooked for tomorrow so everything we get we cook for the, the day before it gets beef ribs burn in <laughs> Some of the sausages we'll cook the day before and have that. They'll get it out, they'll reheat it, and put it in for service tomorrow. So that's the small one. That's the small one. <laughs> that's the small one. That's the baby. The baby. We just this got through the, seeing the baby. This is the Mag Daddy. Ooh, the big one. This is this is what we call the dude. This is a thousand gallon Moberg smoker. We've got 20, 22 briskets on here right now being cooked for, for tomorrow. That is awesome. So if you come a little bit closer, I can show you. This is kind of what we got going on inside right now. We got briskets that go all the way from here, all the way down. And these pull out and we can cook stuff right on top of it. So do you wrap them after so many hours or what do you uh, do with yeah. that? So here in, about, here in about 15 minutes or so, We'll pull them individually, one by one, and use this table right here, and we'll wrap yeah. the briskets right here, wrap it in two sheets of butcher paper, and then we'll take it, and then we'll throw it back on the smoker, and then after that, we'll, we'll jack up the heat in it a little bit and make it go a little bit faster. So what kind of wood are you using to uh, smoke? We're using post oak. Post oak? Post oak wood. We've been doing this, the barbecue side, coming up on four years. So we started barbecuing. My dad was barbecuing in the backyard as a kid growing up. Never thought he would take it and turn it into a full-fledged business. And the chocolate came way before that, and then the barbecue came after that. Yeah, I read the story in uh, Texas Monthly. So it's a it's a cool it's a cool feature, man. It's yeah. It's a it's a unique thing. A lot of people don't 
a lot of people don't see chocolate and barbecue yeah. Yeah. wrapped up into wrapped up into one. Wow. And a lot of people are like, why chocolate and barbecue? Well, people love sweet things. People love smoky things. Yeah, that's so true. So we figured sweet and smoky it just goes hand in hand. We have one more pit. They, they actually left next week. This is actually uh, Sam Well. Uh, this is going to be, this is actually our burger pit. Cool. So this one got used this morning. In both doors, it's got racks all the way up. And each rack itself can hold at least 48 patties at one time. That's a bunch of burgers. So <laughs> that's, and, that, and the reason for that is because we have a burger joint that's coming open. Oh, do soon. you? Yes. Okay. Very, very soon. Well, I'll have to be back for that too. Wow. So the burger joint will actually be on Main Street, which is back up that way. You take a right, and it's literally a block up on the right, and it's got, and we're going to have all kinds of burgers, fries, shakes, all kinds of good stuff in there. Very so cool. It's fun. We love it. Well, see, I used to live in Houston, and I moved back up to Fort Worth. Oh, yeah. And then I've been doing this trip, uh, been on the road for 15 months, raising awareness and funds for diabetes in memory of my son. Oh, wow. And I'm here for the Tour de Cure in Prairie View, uh, American oh, Diabetes. Okay. So that's why I'm here. And then they came down to Fort Worth just to try the barbecue. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> so we're we're steadily growing. We've got the barbecue. We've got our to-go. We've got the burger joint coming. So we got the smokehouse burger that we do is a is actually a full-blown brisket burger. That's an 8-ounce patty with caramelized onions, cheddar cheese, oh, smoked yeah. cheddar cheese, and two slices of house there, bacon man. on top. Oh, it's gonna so be on Main Street. It'll be its own entity, separate building, its own restaurant. Oh, very cool. So it's gonna be a completely different restaurant. We'll so definitely we have, have to come back for that. Okay, I appreciate you giving me the tour. That's yeah, absolutely, cool. absolutely. Um, I post these up on my uh, um, LoneStarRider.com and also on the uh, Lone Star Barbecue Trail. Okay. So I'll put it on there. You got a good review from me. I appreciate so. it, man. Yeah. Awesome. Good. Good. You enjoy everything? Oh, yeah. Everything. It was good. Good. Appreciate it. Yeah, my nephew ordered a pound of your stuff, and I just ordered a quarter. And I said, well, I should have just took yours because he didn't eat it all. <laughs> but I got hey, I got some okay. leftovers to if take. You eat a bunch of it, you'll have leftovers. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Where are they Where are my... Good. Awesome. I appreciate it. Really. Every single piece of meat. For the past four years. Wow. Old Betsy. Old Betsy. That's right behind you. That's Chef Greg. He's not the owners. Hey, how you doing? Greg Moore. Nice to meet you. Rex Covington. Nice to nice meet you. Well, I appreciate you guys. Yeah. No thanks problem. a lot. How was it? Oh, it was That's awesome. The most important thing, right? It was awesome. Well, thanks for enjoying. Sure yeah. enough. Bye, guys. Take it easy now. You too. See ya. All right, we just got through eating over there at Tejas Barbecue, and it was awesome. If you're ever in Tomball, you need to go by there. Talk to Austin. He gave us a tour of the pits. That was pretty darn cool. And uh, it was great that Zach and my brother came down. Met Howdy, me. Howdy. Yeah, met, met me here, and uh, that was very cool. All right, guys. And if y'all guys are not subscribed to me, y'all should be. Click on that little subscribe button down below, then hammer the hell out of that bell, and you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, comment, let me know what you think. Catch y'all on the road. my thought raise awareness and money for the cure to buy for the cure to diabetes in memory of my son that was the burger place right down that main part oh was it oh i miss that oh there's zach he's driving he's taking me back to prairie view for the american diabetes tour to cure